Hello everyone, welcome to this little tutorial that I want to do for you. Um, I'm looking up the course right now as a student, so everything that I see will be the same things that you're going to be looking into. The first page that you're going to see in home will be your information for the um, acquiring of the book. If you haven't acquired the book yet, you have to follow this video and the instructions to get your uh, book properly. Now, another way to get your book would be going into purchase course materials. And right there, you will be um, getting into Barnes and Nobles, which is the one that provides the, the book for you. And then you will follow instructions with them. Or you can also go through course materials and try to get connected to this book. At this moment, as I don't have access uh, to everything that you as a student have, you're only gonna see that it's not found this uh, link. But once you follow the instructions of Barnes and Nobles and you purchase the book, you will be able to access your book through course materials. This will be only if you buy a digital version of the book. If you don't have that version, you're never going to get connected through here. It's not actually a requirement for the class, so don't worry about that. You can work with your printed version if the school gave you a printed version. Now, what else do we have to do once we start this class? Well, the first thing, as a student, I have to go to modules because right there is where I'm going to find the information I need to follow through the week. So the first week has a prerequisite that is going to teach you how to move within the class. And at the end of this week, you're going to have to respond to a little quiz for introductions. That's your first quiz and it's going to be 10 points. And you're also going to have to do a little introduction as a discussion board that is worth 20 points. And you're going to present yourself to every other student. So the first four elements that you see here on this uh, week are requirements that you need to complete before you can actually go and do your introduction and do your quiz. You cannot do your quiz before doing those uh, requirements. Now, you also have information about your professor here. So here you have my picture, my uh, personal information, uh, you can reach me out by email or you can reach me out by text. Uh, this is my cell phone for texting. Please allow me 24 hours if you want to meet with me because um, I will need to schedule that appointment, but I'm pretty flexible so I can meet with you at any time that you need me and in a pretty short time. You have a little bit about me here that you can read on and then know a little bit of who I am. So going back to Bottles again, because I don't want to get out of there yet, this will be information that you're going to be looking at into this week. As you can see, the week one is going to be locked until uh, September 14th. So at midnight, it's going to open the rest of this information. For now, you're only going to work on the prerequisite if you want to uh, get ahead before Monday. And in the meantime, the, after you finish that prerequisite, you're going to be doing all these uh, videos and articles that are going to teach you about the ancient world. At the end of the week, on September 21, aside from that little quiz, and that uh, little introduction, you're going to have the first discussion board that uh, accounts for 50 points and it's going to be about landmarks of the ancient world. At that point, I'm looking for uh, everything that you learned during this week and see how well you understood the class. So every week is going to open and it's going to give you the day in which it opens and it's also going to show you the things that you're going to be having to do during that week. You can also follow the assignments through this tab in your left hand side. 
you won't be able to assess it until the particular date that is uh, it should open but you have also the information about the days when they are due and the amount of points that you're going to be getting for each of them. Um, the syllabus will be showing you also the information about all the activities that you have and the announcements will be a way of communicating from me to you. I'm going to be giving you information, general information through the announcements, uh, things that I consider are important for everyone or reminders. Everything will be on my announcements. So please connect your email to the announcements so that you receive that information right away as soon as I post it. Um, you can check the people in the class through here and communicate with them. You can create groups between yourself if you want to study in groups. You can check your quizzes here, all the quizzes that we're going to have. Besides on my first announcements, I explain everything that we're going to be doing on the class. Um, you can check your grades through here and see the score that you got out of it. And um, basically, if you want to chat with your friends uh, here in, in the class, you can uh, get that available and open up the messages so that you receive uh, alerts every time one of your classmates posts a chat. And then we have writing help that you can attend to. Um, if you need to get uh, writing help for the essays, it's just uh, at a click. And also, we have tutoring online if you need tutoring online. So please take advantage of everything that you have in class. And um, now you know how to move yourself within the class. It's not that hard. And you can always uh, contact me at any time that you have any doubts and follow the instructions that I provide in my announcements. Don't be shy. I don't consider questions dumb. So I want you to contact me for any questions you have, any concern, anything that you don't understand. I want you also to tell me is there is something that you find weird uh, with the system or is it something that is not working properly or if you have any concerns whatsoever, I want you to reach out to me at any point. If you have difficulties to get to do your assignments sometime, let me know. I am very flexible. I can work with you if you need me. Um, I understand there are issues out there uh, in your life, um, at home or at work that might prevent you from giving out uh, a paper on the exact two day. I am a person that you can talk to and I will listen. I will listen to your needs and I will listen to your concerns and I will try to help you out. So always reach out to me at any time and I'll be here for you. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy your class this term with me. I'm very excited to have you in class. Thank you. Have a great weekend.